You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Coach, um, if I asked you who is Bo Davis, what's the best way you can answer that? I uh, I would tell you that I think he's uh, the one of the better, if not the best, teacher of D line fundamentals in the country today. And and I would say that to you and qualify it this way. I, I, I have the privilege now, uh, I have become a coach of coaches, uh, although I did have a chance to coach players this year. I have become, as you know, because you know what I do with this consulting business that I have and everything, I I have become a, a kind of a coach of coaches. And so I've had the privilege of meeting a lot of young D-line coaches and working with them and still have that privilege, still still enjoying that privilege. <clears throat> I think he's I think he's the best man. Uh I think he's he's a guy that brings great technique with him. He he's a guy that brings loyalty with him. He's one of the most loyal human beings. I recruited Bo and coached him at LSU. And we don't ever put the phone down. We don't say, I love you. Coach, <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I, uh, but he, uh, I think this too, you know, I remember Coach, Coach, Coach I remember Saban telling me that when Bo came back to Alabama, he changed the whole course of defensive football in Alabama. Okay, and Coach Saban said to me, he said the toughness that Bo brought back to our defensive line was infectious, and it became defensive team uh, wide. And it all started in Bo's room, and I and I really believe that too. Uh, so it's Coach Simon loved Bo, and uh, and really wanted to get him back over there, uh, you know, for a long time. But anyways, he 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 will help LSU so much, and 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 here's the thing too. I don't think a lot of people talk about this in relationship with, with, with Bo. I think a lot of people realize how good he is at what he does on the field. But the thing about him too, Matt, Bo is a really good recruiter. And Bo enjoys recruiting. He he really works at his recruiting and, and really has a lot of success doing it. So I would say that Coach Kelly – Hit a home run by hired Bo Davis, and uh, and look, it wasn't easy. Uh, Bo Bo had some serious deliberations, but he's like me; he bleeds purple and gold. And uh, he uh, he called me last night and told me he had decided to come, which I was really elated about. I had told him though, Matt, if you stay at Texas, I'm gonna love you. If you come to LSU, I'm gonna love you. If you decide to go to East Hill, Illinois University, <laughs> I'm gonna love you. So it, you know, it wasn't a friendship thing. Uh, I just knew how good he'd be for LSU. Yeah, and uh, he'll do good, man. He'll be a great. He'll be a great asset to Coach Kelly in the program. Coach Pete Jenkins, uh, I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time, Coach. I did want to yeah. ask you though, be because of the work you did this year with LSU, you know you know this position group. Now, there's going to be no Jordan Jefferson or Makai Wingo or Mason Smith or you're not going to Please have Wes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's there's a whole lot of guys that are gone. Yeah. And now Bo Davis is coming into a room that's it's pretty bare. How big of a job does he have in 2024? I said, you know, here's what I said to him last night. 
I'm really happy you've taken this job. And let me tell you this, Bo, it's going to be a damn job. That's what I told him last night. I said, you you got to get you some damn bodies. Because, look, I, you, those, those three names, of course, Makai didn't really, he didn't really play all that much. I had him for a quarter and a half against Missouri. And then I had him in the bowl game a little bit. But what he meant to the to our room and to the team, hey, he never missed a practice. Even when he was unable to play, he was out there at practice every day, helping hold cards. Do I mean, what a great leader that kid was. Uh, and what an inspiration to our team. So, and, and look, you know, him coming back and playing in that bowl game, wow. Pretty special, man. Pretty special. But, uh, yeah, Bo's got his work cut out. I'll tell you, there was a point this year, right after I came back, uh, I said to my wife, Donna, I said, Donna, I'm going to tell you now, I might have bitten off more than I could do. <laughs> I said, this is going to be, this ain't a damn job. This is a job I got. And, you know, we just didn't have any depth. I don't know what happened uh, through the transition and whatever, but the room, it just, it was no depth. And you you mentioned Jordan Jefferson. You know, I think about the portal. If we hadn't had Jordan Jefferson, who was uh, voted by somebody, whoever did it, the uh, outstanding player on defense. Uh, and, and, uh, the, the defensive end, 94, Pier, uh, Parrish. Uh, and, yeah. Parrish. Yes, sir. Look, those two guys, you know, if we if they, if we had, we hadn't had those guys, I'd hate to think what it was like in there. I mean, it was really short on depth. Now, the talent wasn't bad. Mason has got a – I think Mason's got a tremendous upside. I talked to some pro people today. That called me about him, and I told him, I said, you know, his future looks great to me. He 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 has got kind of an immature body, although he's a big old guy. Mm-hmm. He he needs lower body strength really bad, uh, and he's going to get it because he'll work like hell. At it. I mean, he's a great worker, as is Makai. But uh, I wish Bo had been a little sooner mm-hmm. making his mind up mm-hmm. because it might have helped keep those kids. But hey, he's got hey, man, he's got a damn job. But I'm telling you, it's a job. It's going to be a job for him. Uh, Coach Pete Jenkins, I I could talk to you. Know this, Coach Pete. I could. I don't even need to talk to you. I just mean I could listen to you the well, whole the whole show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had that emotional. Please do not apologize. Like that's authentic, and that's it's it's well, real and it's love, and it's why people love you. The guy, the guy's been so good to me. And, and, uh, I love his ass. I'll tell you, I do. And I just hate it for, I hate it for the uh, sport. People don't realize. You can't get people to understand this. He, he he's not. Of course, Alabama is concerned, okay? It's his concern because that's his job. But he is a guy that cares deeply about the sport, the players, the coaches. I mean, the man is, uh, he has he had some difficulty showing that, I think, sometimes. <laughs> and I think people have a misconception of him sometimes. But he's uh, down deep inside. He is... Unbelievable human being. He really is. Well, Coach Pete, so, no, I'm sorry, please. No, I, so anyways, I'll let you go. Uh, Coach, I was just going to say his all, all Nick's retirement means is uh, you, I, you'll have more time to hang out with him in Destin. Uh, hang, hanging out. <laughs> hanging out is defined, but my, mine and his hanging out is Talking some damn hard football. That's what <laughs> he's not. He's not the most fun guy, man. I've ever been around. Him. I mean, I will tell you that straight up. Uh, 
But uh, there's so much depth there. And so much, uh, he's so smart. He really is. Thank you for the, and, and I wish Bo so much. I, I hope people are excited about him coming because he's going to be a tremendous passion for OSU football. Oh, people are thrilled. Because okay, thank you, man. It, it is always our pleasure. I can't thank you enough. We'll talk soon, okay? All right, thank you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.